security and really security in general hasn't evolved in decades. It's been kind of small steps, you know, improvements in cameras and sensors. What we're doing is a radically new approach. We build a set of sensors. They look like garden lights. They act like garden lights. They work like garden lights. But in reality, they're very sophisticated motion and vibration sensors that you place around your property. They can detect people, animals, and cars coming and going. And if they detect something unusual, they can deploy the bee, which is our fully autonomous drone, which flies out, flies directly to where the action was detected, and sends you live video. This is a pre-production unit. This has been about three years of development. We went through alphas and betas of our testing. We've done over 3,000 flights with the system, and now we're ready to actually take the system into the manufacturing. The sensors will detect people, animals, and cars. They'll send you a notification. And if you want to take a look at what's going on, you just basically click a button on your phone. The drone flies out and figures out where that activity was detected, flies to where it's safe and where it is able to observe the activity and sends you live HD video. You can have it look at other places of your house. You can have it do what we call a security sweep. Everything is stored, everything is recorded, every, uh, everything is logged. And then if you wanted to generate a report to share with the police or somebody, you just push one button. The initial system is targeted as high-end residential properties. So think, you know, somebody who has a relatively big house with maybe a quarter of an acre or more. But we eventually see this being used in all types of uh, situations. For example, it is ideal for uh, light commercial applications, warehouses, car dealerships. It is great for agricultural applications. It would be great for things like um, gated communities, vacation properties. Essentially, instead of installing many, many security cameras, you just have one of our systems and they can cover up to four acres of property at once. I would say the hardest thing is we're making it easy to use. It's, you can sort of build a lot of technology and then when you give it to people's hands, you can see how it can get really confused. The app that we build, the experience that we put together, you know, we've let multiple people at the show just fly the system themselves without any instructions and they'll be able to figure it out. So I think that's one of our proudest accomplishments. So people tend to get irked out when they see like static security cameras at this point. Do you think that these things flying around can make people uncomfortable? Well, uh, yes, it's sort of intended to, right? If you're in somebody's property and the drone flies out to look at you, you know, we want you to be somewhat intimidated. However, if you're the owner, it's flying around really hasn't bothered anybody. It, it, has, it makes kind of a soft humming sound. Um, you know, it looks cute. Uh, it's kind of fun. Most people use it just a lot to just take pictures of their friends, parties, and so forth. So we want it to be friendly, we want it to be fun. But again, if you're on somebody's property and the drone flies out, starts following you, you know, you're probably going to get out of there.